All right, everyone. Hello and welcome to HRL Indie Hog round number nine. Almost lost count because uh, we're getting there. Pretty big track coming in today, at Watkins Glen. So we were trying to do a few different potential IndyCar road courses that uh, would would fit and and could be raced. And then um, I ended up making this one for maybe something to do next year. And then I liked it a lot because uh, I tried some different things on this track, and it seemed pretty fun to to run laps on and potentially pretty fun to battle on, race on. So I said screw it. I was like, you know what? I kind of don't feel like making another track and <laughs> this one works and fits the criteria anyways, even though this wasn't what it was meant to be uh, used for. So I was like, all right, screw it. We're, we're racing Watkins Glen. So that's how we ended up here. And we did the heat races. It's going to be a uh, 33 checkpoint, 16 lap long moto, two motos here, not our third triple crown of the season yet. Uh, that'll be next season. We'll talk about more about that later. So let's go through the starting order. So on the left, uh, left to right, it's Detail, Solange, your Heat winners, and then Luke, Sol, Roman, Hunter, Armada, Camby, and Real Deal showing out for the home race. Oh boy, made it to the home race, just barely. Um, so they're going to start pacing here in a moment. But yeah, 33 checkpoints, uh, 16 laps for both motos. Again, the next Triple Crown that we do is next week. And then that'll be the, uh, well, that'll be the only triple crown until the the uh, the final race of the season. So, all right, here we go. Go at the top of the hill there, green flag. So this first turn could get pretty tricky. And honestly, this whole first sector of the track can get pretty tricky on the first lap. So let's see how this plays out. The reason why it's so tricky is because when you're on your own, oh yeah, you already saw, I think that might've been Sol was... Four tires off the ground. We have a three wide. We had a three wide up front for a moment. We have some Dukes of Hazard action on the rumbles. Some big runs. Can be going to the inside. And maybe making a move. Yeah, he is. He is. Can he go for two? Not going to be able to. It's going to be tough to do in the inner loop there. Going to be tough to go for uh, a double pass. But he was able to make one work. And then I love this, uh, this outer... Uh, curve turn there. I love that turn. Um, that one's pretty tricky as well. And uh, there's a, honestly a few different ways you can hit it and carry speed. And you can also, it's really easy to, to mess it up and uh, really like screw your speed in the straightaway. It's probably, it's potentially arguably like the most important corner on the track because it's one that you can really gain time on if you hit it correctly. Um, but again, if you mess it up, it's, it's brutal. And that speed doesn't necessarily just carry over the next straightaway, it, it kind of goes into the next couple turns, too. So it's a very, very important corner. Um, I, again, I would say it, probably pretty safe to say that it's the most important in the race. You can definitely make up, lose some time in other corners as well, but that one seems to be the one that determines a lot. But uh, but yeah, early on here, it's Detail, Slaunch, and Luke worked out to the top three. And finishing the thought, because the action got so crazy, the reason why that first sector is so intense in the first lap is because you actually like potentially have to let off now you can do it there's there's different ways you can do it you can let off in certain spots and have it be fast um you know you can go flat out and have it be fast you can you can do it different ways when you're on your own um but when you're on a in a pack like that it takes away a lot of your choice there and in general like when you're battling there you're probably gonna have to use some let off points like if you want to try to take it flat out it's gonna be pretty hard to do and it could set up like some crossovers. It could set up like some bogs. Um, it becomes from from being a section that does allow you to gain time, but like isn't that tricky. It goes from that to being like a very interesting like battle section in these in these first couple laps when people are duking it out. So eventually Luke completes the pass on Slaunch, and that's that's what's gonna happen. What we saw with them right there. That's what's gonna happen a lot on this track. I think is that passes are gonna have to be complete either in the pits or over the course of. Uh, of multiple turns unless somebody makes a mistake if somebody makes a mistake obviously you don't need multiple turns to make a pass here but if, if both drivers are running pretty competent and pretty pretty quick um then it's probably going to have to be a multi-turn thing but the nice thing about this track is that there are a few sections where those turns actually do like line up pretty pretty nicely uh to make a move like that happen so so it actually works out pretty well so there you go uh pits are going to be or maybe, yeah, already open there yeah, already open there. So Armada going in. We have a couple takers. Armada going in. Hunter went in. 
Uh, real deal going in. Oh, getting spicy at the end of the pits like that. Uh, interesting pit road as well, because as you can see, uh, it should remind you of Road Americas, honestly, from like a few weeks ago. Um, with the way that it, it goes off to the side of like the main straight and is like kind of up a hill. Pretty, pretty similar hit to Road America, I would say. Even with the exit in the final corner, yeah, it's 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 pretty similar. Um, but it also makes it kind of a tricky pit because again, you have some hill action, and that's not you know most of these pit roads are flat, and the drivers are used to like where they can let off with their with their certain amount of speed on a on a flat pit road, and you know trying to make that time up on a flat pit road. But if you have any of these stalls, which I think a lot of people probably tried to avoid, I don't think there's that many people in the in the later stalls that are like some of them are on the hill, some of them are at the top of the hill. But if you're in any of those stalls, you kind of have to adjust your brain a little bit um, because obviously like going up the hill or even if you like just went up the hill, if you're in one of the stalls that's like on the top of it, that's obviously going to change uh, your your let off point, your breaking point and like how you approach entering the pits. So that's another thing that uh, that kind of makes this track interesting. A little bit different than what we saw last week with Lafayette being, you know, very uh, unique in its in its pits. This one has its own traits as well, um, but not as <laughs> not as crazy as that one. That one was quite a bit different. So Detail has gotten off to a really nice lead, taking advantage. Luke and Slaunch battled for and are still like kind of battling. Wonder if we'll get some pit action because the battle's like kind of starting up again. Very close for a few laps, and yep, Slaunch is going to go for it, so doesn't want to fight too hard. Says, screw it, let's see if we can make something happen in the pits. Does a few shots, goes on. There's these two drivers that are potentially battling there. It's Sol and Roman, I believe, who backs out of it, and Slaunch, here he comes. It's going to come out well in front of them. Yeah, so it was Sol, Sol and Roman, yeah. Anyone else in the pits? No. Okay, let's take a look at that battle then. Yeah, so the, the state of the race, so yeah, Detail was able to get to a pretty big lead. Um, you know, all that, obviously starting position, all that battling probably helped as well. Allowed him to build a big gap. Why did Roman just let off there? That was weird. I thought he had the pass like well cleared. I don't know if he thought that was a NOS moment. It wasn't really, like I think Sol just bogged. That was odd. Um, I'm not sure what's up with that one, but either way, Roman trying to work this pass on Sol here. And here it comes. And maybe in the final corners, it's going to be difficult when you have those aggressive rumbles. I like it. They're both going flat out. Oh, and Roman's going to get the bog. Roman's going to get the bog just a little bit. Soul's going to make the pass. Uh, that's Luke going in for first pit. So Slaunch makes his first pit. Luke makes his first pit. And you could, you could tell there's definitely some different strategy going on there as well because Slaunch... Um, and Luke were like neck and neck side by side. Well, not quite side by side, but you know, basically, um, right with each other. And then now there's like a huge gap that's opened up here in just a, just a lap or two. So potentially some different strategies. Slaunch is likely going to have, we're going to say, um, and we did see it a little bit. That was a pretty quick pit out of him. So his, uh, his next pit coming up later is going to be a longer, is going to be a longer one. Luke had a longer one there. So it'll be a quick pit. So keep that in mind. If that battle does end up coming back. Meanwhile, Sol and Roman are still very, very close with each other. Um, gap's getting opened up pretty well so far. And I think part of that isn't just the track. Um, and uh, and the gaps of the drivers and different speeds. But also these pits. Obviously, last week with Lafayette being like a shortcut. Uh, that <laughs> made things a little bit different with the gaps. But now we're going to be seeing on Watkins Glen here some more of the usual like gaps opening up with the pits that we're, that we're used to. Hunter with a quick, uh, I'm going to assume, well, it looked like he was going for the reload. So I'm going to assume that was Hunter finishing his second pit and he went for a really long first one and then just went for a quick two bullets there. So there's his strategy. Um, so let's get an update on, now that things have settled out a little bit, let's see how things are going here. All right, so let's go through the field. Uh, we have nine, yeah, nine drivers in the field tonight. So here we go. Not going for his pit that time, but that's Detail going to lead another lap. He's led all the laps so far. Slaunch still in second place. Was able to hold on to that with his pit strategy. Soul and Roman. Okay, Roman going in. There we go. So Roman going in for, I think, his first here. So yeah, it's Detail, Slaunch, Soul, top three. Roman. Oh, 
Oh, okay. He had to do a little backup cheese. I was going to say it was a little conk. Roman going in for a pit there. Just firing off a bullet, though. Um, didn't look like there was a reload. I think that was him and Soul's first pit. I would imagine. If it's not, that's kind of cracked. <laughs> but yeah, so positions on track. Details, Slaunch, Soul. Uh, now Luke, Roman. That is your top five. And then we've got Camby. And yeah, look at all these. Wow, this is crazy. Camby, Hunter, um, Armada, and and Real Deal. So that's that's our gap currently. And pretty... Oh, there we go. We go right into detail doing his first pit. A lot of bullets right there. You could tell it's definitely going to be a quick second pit. But this is going to be huge. Slaunch probably would like to come out in front of him here to maybe have a chance at slowing him up. And, you know, helping out his strat. But Detail does come out in front of Slaunch pretty comfortably there. So he's going to have that gap still. But again, they both still have to do their second pit. I believe Luke now in third also has to do his second pit. Soul just went in for a pit there. There he is. And then there's Roman. So, so that's the same top five. But yeah, the gaps are huge. Because I think what we see at this track, I think the... Uh, this is a track with a pretty big speed gap, I think. Like, this is a... It's a tricky track. There's a lot of places, like I was saying before, there's a lot of places where you can bog, and the bogs really hurt. <laughs> the bogs really hurt. And there's honestly a few corners that you can take a few different ways, and they're both um, pretty pretty effective and, and pretty quick. So that kind of makes things interesting, too. Maybe people having to figure out which... Line they prefer. I can't believe I caught that. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Soul going over and a really quick recovery, though. <laughs> like a pretty freaking fast recovery. Might not even really lose much off that. I mean, it's huge gaps between him and Roman right now. But again, the pit strategy is on. And uh, once these guys make their second pit, we'll have to see how it all shakes out. Can be going in. We'll have to see how it all shakes out. Because even though the gaps are big, I don't think they would be... Um, that big for all the positions. So going 22. Um, and remember, we're going to 33. So closing in on the end of this race, approaching five to go. And of course, the pit's uh, closing soon. So a lot of these guys still having to do their second pit. And they're going to have to do it real soon. And in fact, Detail must have heard the commentary, decides to do it right now. Oh, and a little bit of a cheese. Oh, he forgot to shoot. He might have made a slight mistake right there and did not shoot his uh, his last bullet. So he gets back out of the hog to correct that. That is brutal because he obviously had a really big lead um, from, the, from the beginning of the race. You know, several hog lengths from there and super in control. But now a pit mistake like that is obviously going to give Luke and Slaunch some time. Is it going to be enough time for them to compete for the lead? That we can't really tell at the moment. But it's definitely going to have an effect for sure. So we'll keep our eyes on that because that might be a pretty big moment in the race here when it comes down to it uh, shortly. We're getting really close to that pit window closing. So And obviously, uh, Detail and Luke both took theirs. So Slaunch still has to take his. And he's only got like a couple laps here to do it. When does he do it? Does he do it now? Where does he come out? He's not going to. He's going to stay out another lap. I think he's going to have to go into the pit uh, this next lap. So Slaunch going to be trying to make some gains here. Going to try to have a really quick lap if he can. Try to gap these guys. And this would be huge for him. Obviously, picking up his first overall last week. Lafayette, really good race from him there. If he could sneak out a win here in Moto 1, you know, after the start. Looking like, uh, looking like Detail to have a strong run. If he could come back and compete for this win, that'd be pretty massive here. As there's still a lot of points up for grabs in Indy Hog. Still a lot of time left. Oh no, and another mistake! Another one doesn't open up the pass. No, it does not, but another mistake from Detail. That's brutal, because that's, again, it's probably like a checked out gap, but now he's got Luke right behind him, and if he's got Luke right behind him, then I would imagine Slaunch is going to be pretty close to when he comes out of his pit, which I believe... Oh, was I wrong? Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. He's got one more lap. He's got one more lap. So now Slaunch has to take his pit this upcoming lap. He absolutely has to take it. 
So we're going to see him go in for his final stop at the end of this upcoming lap. But yeah, now things spice up a little bit because Detail super checked out. This race looked like it was done. Now we have close to an on-track battle for the lead, only like a hog length and a half separating the two. And then we have Slaunch. Oh, and a little bit of a different line choice right there. It's a little bit of gainage. Detail maybe making it back up in the straightaway. Yeah, it looks like that's the case there. So there you got a good example. Luke gains a lot in like the entry of that sector and then uh, Detail gained a lot back on the straight. So you can see the different lines and choices with the let offs there. And how that works out on this track. Oh, and, and Slaunch had to lap real deal. Slaunch had to lap real deal there as well. So maybe some time there too. Let's see. Oh. Uh, yo, MCC, you good? Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was a long pause. Oh, a little bit of a swipe. A little bit of a swipe. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't as bad as the mistakes that we saw come out of detail. Um, but, uh, but still definitely going to lose him a bit of time right there for sure. So we'll see how much of a difference that makes. Because that, that was definitely a little bit of time off his lap. And here we go. Slaunch going to go in. For his final pit. There it is. And he's, he's going to have to do the reload. It's going to be a longer pit. There's the leaders. Now remember, at the end of the pit road, it's a bit of a shortcut. So he will get a little bit of that time back. So here it comes. Roaring out of pit road. And he exits right back in third, right behind Luke. And that's that's brutal. Because right now, looking at that gap and looking at what happened with... Uh, with real deal, I don't know if he would have had the lead. Maybe, maybe it would have been close, but he probably would have just barely had that second place and been like sandwich. Would have been crazy close, probably. The top three would be like literally like a sandwich right now of the hog length gaps, um, probably if it weren't for that. So that is a tough pill to swallow for Slaunch. That's going to hurt the end of his race here. Now he's going to have to try to take that second place when he maybe could have had a chance at fighting for the win here. But you never know. Because we're going to the white flag. There's still going to be one more lap to go. We saw Detail make a couple mistakes earlier. Could he have another one here to spice things up? After those huge gaps from the pitch strategy, we actually end up having a very close top three uh, battle here going into the last lap. White flag. It's going to be tough for anybody to make it up on track, but with a mistake, it's possible. And I think Luke has a really good end of the lap and beginning of the next lap there. Gets away from Slaunch and gets really close to Detail. And Detail going for his breaking point. And that's offline for Luke's. It's going to slow him down. Slaunch is now going to make a, um, up, a little, little, up a ton of time on that one. And not going to be able to. He has to go off of the straightaway just a little bit there. That's not going to That's not gonna help. Oh, big two wheels, though. Going into the outer loop one more time. It's still very close. Again, any mistakes here. Detail has a slow exit. He has a slow exit. But it's right in front, and Luke doesn't really have anywhere to go until they get to the turn. So Slaunch is going to make up big gains. Really close into the final turn. They're ripping out of it. We're watching all the way to the line. And it's literally a photo finish at the end for second place. Detail is going to safely take the win there. Um, oh, yeah, classic. So I have to go back, uh, or fast forward a bit to get back to that one, but... Yeah, one of the closest photo finishes that we've... Well, probably the closest photo finish that we've seen this season, uh, potentially. Complete. Closest on a road course, for sure. Closest on a road course, for sure. But let's take a look at that again. And funnily enough, I mean, there was kind of a similar one uh, at Road America between Slaunch and Luke for second place there as well, so... Just these close photo finishes between them at the end of these road course races. They're putting on a, on a show... At the end of these, but yeah, Slaunch gets a big dive in. And then they're putting the power down. It's going to be a drag race all the way to the end. They're close, neck and neck. And Slaunch just not sure. It looked like he wasn't sure if he should go for the momentum steal or not. That might have costed him a little bit. It's hard to say, but there it is at the line. Very, very, very close. Um, But a sweet ending to the race and a pretty good race overall. Like it... Is one of those where the strategy made it separate for a little bit, but when it came back together, I mean, that was like a legit top three battle there. 
There's real deal. He's going to have to go around again. Soul will take fourth. Roman, fifth. Get the sun in the shot. Oh, yeah. All right. As we have Hunter will take sixth. Camby, seventh. So I'm going to go ahead and say that'll mean uh, that Armada, yep, Armada is going to be eighth. And uh, when he comes back around, Real Deal will be taking ninth. Real Deal's got to get back on that hog treadmill. Um, <laughs> this is a, this is a difficult track for him to come back on in the hogs because like like last week's would have been a pretty good one, but because <laughs> he could just block. But this one, this is a pretty tough one. Um, uh, yeah, definitely definitely some some pretty brutal ways to make up time on this one. So it's a hard one for him to come back to. But in the end, there. Um, one more time, the final results for a pretty freaking close Moto 1 right there. At least for the top spots, and 4th and 5th pretty close too. Um, Detail, Luke, Solanch, Sol, Roman, Hunter, Canby, Armada, Real Deal. That's it, one more time. Congrats to Detail, taking the 6th Moto win on the season. Gonna try to make it 7 in Moto 2. Solanch and Luke gonna have to try to have something to say about that. And Sol and Roman, can they do something with some better starting position? We'll see. Uh, when we get there, see you guys there.